It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see teams who have been division rivals since 1961. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles under the lights on Sunday night. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. contest they'll fake the give to Sanders and now Hurts on the move to his left and he overshot him there it's out of bounds incomplete that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage but what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of him, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. An early test, two plays in, this is third and two. They'll try to run for it with Sanders, and he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 31. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yardage? Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board. They're able to avoid that three and out. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Throwing his hurts. Bearing it out deep for Smith. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A gain of 39 that time. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Hurts a handoff to Sanders, and he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. From the gun, it's Hurts. And this is going to be caught? No, they say it's incomplete. That was a difficult catch, and I admire the fact... Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. The previous play is under review. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Yeah, remember now, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear video evidence to the contrary. And I give these officials a lot of credit. Such a tough and demanding job. You and I both know that. Yeah, they make the right call way more often than they get it wrong.
So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. here in their opening series they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players that looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved yeah let's face it Brandon a red zone situation forthcoming as this defense will need to step up here first and ten ball at the 19 now a first down carry by Jones He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Rodgers now to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Now Rodgers. He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown, Packers. A three-yard touchdown pass, and the Packers have moved out in front. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Time to get back into the action. The football in the red zone for this offense. It's second down, six yards to go. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. That is caught at the seven. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Come on, come on. They'll run with Sanders. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Second and goal from inside the five. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Grant Calcaterra from four yards out. And the Eagles are able to move back in front. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Burt sets up to throw it. For the left side, it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Throwing again on second and 10. Hurts. And that's going to be caught for the Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. 
And now to give us momentum going. We're looking for this offense has been clicking pretty good here in the first half. They've got the lead. They're looking for more with a ball in the red zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. This offense has made its way into the red zone as they're set up with a first and 10 just inside the 20. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Greg Calcaterra from 19 yards away as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdowns. A lot of points put on the board so far by this offense. Now they're looking for more. Already winning here in the second half ball in the red zone. Hurts throw taken in by Watkins here. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. They it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge, it's ruled incomplete. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Hurts. Take advantage of the short field and finish it off with a quick touchdown. So they're able to capitalize there on the short field, and that might prove to be the score that turns out the lights. The party's over. Oh, sorry about that. That's an old reference there, folks. But yeah, they've been the... It's a two-score game in the fourth quarter. Onside kick coming up, and the kicking team desperately needs a football. And the Eagles' hands team able to cover it up. The risk-reward of the onside kick when you don't... And here they gave it a break. This offense has been lighting the scoreboard up. Now the question, can they add to their lead? We drop you in a red zone situation in the second half. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. The Eagles on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and four. Running right, here's Sanders. Yeah, he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get your reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps. No hesitation in this situation. Down a couple scores late in the game. This offense is staying out there on fourth. They'll run for it to Dillon. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. That is knocked away and incomplete, but a penalty flag. In the backfield, this might be a roughing call. Their way, trailing. 
A lot of points put on the board so far by this offense. Now they're looking for more. Already winning here in the second half ball in the red zone. And we'll see if the defense wants to stop it as they take the... It's a second down run with Sanders. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Hurts down to one knee, and that should just about do it. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward.